Oh, did you become a grown up? Then yeah. you get a kitty meal. Run! Okay, you don't even run for your food. I am uh, disconnecting the coolant lines. So on your engine, at least on my engine, there's two shutoff valves that look just like water shutoff valves. You just close them, and then you can disconnect everything in the heating system. And you won't drain the coolant from the engine, you only drain the coolant from the heating system. Nice. Yeah, there's one on the left side of the engine, and there's one on the right side of the engine. Like, I hear it, but I can't see it. Okay, Cheyenne, take that and pull. Pull. This one. Pulling the heaters out. All the lines. Hooray. One step easier to clean it. Heaters in. are out. <laughs> Thanks. Actually covered these over with fiberglass on the outside and I put a little bit of Bondo on the inside to kind of beef them up. I drilled a hole for the uh, camera where the camera cable will come through for the backup camera. Covered over those lights right there. I That used to be an emergency exit. It is now skinned over. I installed the vent for the bathroom, so that will be active. And this will be like right above the toilet shower area so that we can vent the moisture from that area. I skinned over this emergency hatch. I skinned over this roof vent and filled a hole there and filled a hole over there where some antennas came out that I didn't want anymore. Nice. Okay. <laughs> So I'm making boxes for the windows. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to do now is make two of the same pieces with 45 degree inside corners so I can make a box out of them. So all I'm doing is lining up the short edge here, right? And then I'm lining up my laser to the other short edge on the on the inside of this one. And then I'm cutting my And then I end up with two pieces with equal lengths that are 45 degree inside corners to make boxes for windows. Nice. So we are going to ace because I did not have any more wood saws blades for my for my jigsaw 
and uh, so I cannot cut the round contours of the frames for the skylights into the ceiling. Whoops. So now we gotta make another trim. So what I have made here is two boxes. Now these are very unique and they were kind of difficult to assemble. And if you don't have the skills in carpentry, which you can see I don't quite have the skills, but uh, get a friend of yours who's good with woodworking to make you something like this or, or something like that or make some practices or who knows what else. Now, basically what I did here was I cut some two by fours at 45 degree angles, the proper inside diameter that I wanted for my opening for my skylight, okay? Then I cut, I scribed the proper curvature of the bus roof. You can see that like I have some really bad overlap here, but it's actually fine. I'm just gonna shim things where I need to and I install the roof paneling. Then what I did was in order to follow that proper curvature here, I cut I don't know the angle, but I cut the right angle into the top and into the bottom of this two by four that goes across. See? So that this frame will sit flush against the roof. I'll screw into it from the top. And then the Lexan glass will go up across this on top of the bus with sealant. And then, so the sheet metal will be in between these two with sealant and then we'll seal all the edges and everything. It'll be perfect. And then when we go inside the bus, this will be the bottom side, and we will use trim to trim out the inside of this frame so that it looks really nice. Mike is trying to cut the skylight. It was not supposed to start raining this early, but Mother Nature doesn't really care. This lip here sits down three quarters of an inch below the rib face, roughly, about, approximately. And that's where our furring strips will be, three quarters of an inch off that. And I also cut the angle into here, and I tried to cut the curve as close as I could into here. The angle's here. It's also angled on the top edge also, so that it sits nice and flush against the roof of the bus. I used some uh, countersink wood screws to screw it into the roof so that the screws sit flush with the face of the metal so when I put the Lexan glass on top everything seals up nice and then we'll trim this out with trim when we're finally done and it'll look awesome. Drill pilot hole here. It's flush like that oh. and then we'll do one here and another one and then we'll just use a big strip to cover this curve because that curve will be easy mm -hmm. 